a huge problem for whoever leads the city as mayor, poverty. The numbers are staggering. A new national study out today shows there are 228,000 low-income families in Indiana with children eight and under. Another report from IUPY, one in five families in Indianapolis live well below the poverty level. And the providers, the agencies that help the poor, are in need themselves. RTV6 reporter Jack Reinhart is live outside our Monument Circle studio with details. Jack? Well, Erica, we stopped by the St. Vincent de Paul agency today, and already there were five automobiles that were lined up against the fence waiting for the agency to open tomorrow. Those people weren't in line for tickets to a rock concert or a sporting event. They were waiting for food. At the St. Vincent de Paul Food Pantry, Wednesday is a day to restock the shelves. In 10 years, the number of people served here has more than tripled. Today, the agency distributes enough food to feed nearly 4,000 families a week. It's a really good program, and we had no way of eliminating the scammers. So some people say you go through the greedy to get to the needy. The need to deliver food to shut-ins has grown by more than 1,300% over the past 10 years. St. Vincent de Paul now delivers food to more than 350 homes and apartments each week. The meals go mostly to individuals and families struggling with disabilities. I think it's uh, great to have a, a food pantry for people that are... Um, very hungry. Bernie Wiedekamp is a St. Vincent de Paul volunteer who has delivered food to Indianapolis area residents for more than six years. Today he will make nine deliveries, bringing more than just groceries. I don't know how how bad their particular situation is. I chat with them every week, but they don't give a lot of, of information about what their situation is. But just upbeat and tell them they're glad we can make the delivery to them. And, Hope they're getting along well. According to an IUPUI study, the poverty level in Indianapolis between 2000 and 2012 has outpaced the state and the country by large margins. Today, one in five Indianapolis residents lives in poverty. One in every three children lives in poverty. And 45% of all single mothers with children live below the poverty level. 21% of all whites lives in poverty, 31% for blacks, 42% for Hispanics. I we'll also have to include a copy of her gas and electric bills. At the 211 Connect to Help Center, calls for assistance last month increased by 65% over the same period last year. 22% of the callers wanted help putting food on the table. They will not pay their rent, they will not get their meds, you know, and they will get their food. So when that many people are calling for food, those are people who have used all their options in most cases. One other big statistic, uh, the crime rate in uh, neighborhoods with high rates of poverty is five times that of neighborhoods without a high poverty rate. And education seems to be a key. Just getting a high school diploma can cut your chances in half of winding up in poverty. Reporting live downtown, Jack Reinhardt, RTV6.